Check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Duck! if you... Us, aren't you? That is one seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the Stone, it's time to get some glory. For, for glory! glory! yelled glory out there, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. These channels of lava are blocked by sticky pistons. If I were to unblock them... Hmm... These channels lead to the center of the room. They look like they're designed to let lava flow from those channels in the wall. Why would you want to do that? Ah, my old friend the lever. Petra. This place is cool. Knew you'd find it. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff, but I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. So, how are you feeling lately? Wither sickness free. I think. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice though. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. Keep trying to solve this. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Hey, Olivia. Yeah? So, have you been having a good time hunting for treasure? If you had asked me a couple of months ago, I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time, and I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. So, what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers. 
But some cocoa beans would be cool, too. Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Hey, Axel. What you need, buddy? So, what kind of loot you think we're gonna find in here? Oh, man, well, I want to make a room with an emerald floor, right? Yeah, who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough, or smart enough, or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. I think I actually would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. No? Then who was it that was yelling, Help me! Help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me! Wow, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We packed a lot in since then. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! Alright, let's see what we've got. Could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's what did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow. Is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? You ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, I think you mean the warrior whip? Obviously. Build your bump on my command. Right on. Gotcha cover. Come on, Jesse. <laughs> Hurry. Death. Woo. Close one. Great job, Jesse. Oh, all these mobs, where does it end?
get out of here now! Look out! Tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again too. I'm dying to know how it works. I'm good. You can give it a shot though. <laughs> Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Shut up, you idiot. Well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. That's not our name. So what are you ocelots doing here, anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Don't do it again. Huh. Pretty cool name. Of course it is. And I don't give a crap about what you think. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mmm... No. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Or he's a whiny dingus. Yeah, Lucas is a hero. Which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Oh, come on. That's not fair, Aiden. We're adventuring just like anyone else. <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small-minded as you, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? Go find your own stuff, Aiden. It's not enough that you gotta save the world. You had to go and take all the world's best stuff, too. So, if I want my own stuff, that means I need to take it from you. I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! Ugh. You don't touch me! <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse! Let's just go home, you guys. These blaze rods aren't worth it. <sighs> Fine. 
What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze rods! Ooh. I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Okay, I'm officially starting to get a bad feeling about Aiden. Threatening people, scary enchantments on his sword. I hope he doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Well, I guess we do always try and get all the best treasure. Yeah, but that just means we have great taste. Not that we're like bullies or something. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. Freaking awesome! new it somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles while still doing the whole barfing lava thing Yeesh. wow that is one epic build with the lava yeah yeah and the skull motif awesome, awesome. i will never understand your taste <laughs> not my fault look out oh, uh, help oh stop your whining what are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse! You're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you! It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! So I suppose we're even. Man, Ivor, this is really cool. Why, thank you, Jesse! So good to finally see someone with some vision! Jesse, seriously? You can't let him keep this up! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Sorry, but Ivor's right. People have got to be free to build. <gasps> but that's so irresponsible. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <laughs> It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... they've got... Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Believe it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live 
my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Right, what he said. Stay out of trouble, you two. <laughs> you stay out of trouble. Good one. Thanks. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Guys, you have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's been ages. Where were you? Oh, you know, just helping to rebuild and stuff. Weatherstorm left a big mess out there. Yeah, a lot of homes got wrecked. That's really good of you to help out like that. You have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm... Him. Yeah. How are you doing? I still feel guilty about it. Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how Reuben died because I put him in danger. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any less guilty, though. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Uh-huh, yeah, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow... That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Right? So, what's the flint and steel do then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. 
More powerful artifacts, huh? The ever... what now? The Eversource! Are you, uh, gonna actually explain it any more than that? The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Well, what are we waiting for, then? We've already been to that temple once. Finding it again will be a snap. Old builders, Eversources, ancient mysteries? You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! <sighs> he just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. Ivor, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. Huh, doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore. Excited, Ivor. Excited. I'm ecstatic. Thrilled. Overjoyed. The Eversource could finally be within my grasp. Once, uh, once we find it, that is. I can't believe we missed some sort of secret area here last night. Uh, we were kind of fighting. Oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. Barely got out of there last night. Doesn't look like it's opening up again anytime soon. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you, Jesse. I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? 
Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential, so they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! What is Jesse doing up there? Well, that seems promising. Jesse! What do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. That's a weird looking portal. Have you seen anything like it before? No. The old builders experimented with portals, but this is different from anything I've seen. Here goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. You're pretty easy to follow, you know that? You're gonna regret that, Aiden. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Shut up, Gil! Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze Rods! Clear me a path. Follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. Should we go back for Axel and Olivia? There's no time, Jesse. We can't let Aiden get the Eversource first. I don't usually like agreeing with Ivor, but he's got a point. Who knows what kind of trouble Aiden could be causing in there? Yeah, I guess you're right. Heavy. I am uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Definitely don't want to fall down there. Any sign of the blaze rods? No, nothing. Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal? The Eversource? He definitely seems to know now. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? So very strange. If that island is a settlement or whatever, that's our best bet to find me. The city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're gonna reach it. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world and then we can't even go anywhere. Okay, people, you know the drill. What did you guys bring with you? That's my private business. Didn't exactly bring a whole lot. Why? Because we're building a bridge and it'll take everything we have. I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes, very astute, Lucas. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. 
Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. You're building! I... you... Uh, I... I don't... Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh, uh, you don't know? Y you, 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 you were building. Uh, unauthorized building is against the law. Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden. This, this makes no sense. No sense at I, all. I, 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 well, uh, that's the law? Oh, geez, I'm sorry. We had no idea. It's a stupid law. Oh, jeez. First those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, wait, wait. Come I'm back. super busy. Sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous. Wow. Incredible. What's it made of? It's kind of blinding to look at it. it looks like it's all gold and iron blocks. Whoever built this had rare materials to burn. Yes. Clearly the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. I'm starting to think that maybe we should try and keep a low profile while we look for the inn. These people seem pretty suspicious of us. Agreed. Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry, everyone. Your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Huh? I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat. That guy is really itching to use the crafting table. Come on. I'm starving here. This is a long line just to use a crafting table. You're telling me I'm so hungry I could practically eat my wheat right here. But I won't. I'll be patient and turn it into delicious bread instead. What, uh, what can I do for you? I'm so hungry. I heard you guys have an inn somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh, uh, Milo's place? <laughs> that guy's hilarious. He's over that way. Milo, huh? Thanks. No problem. How's it going? Oh, you know, still hungry, still waiting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How's it going? Oh, you know, still hungry, still waiting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey there. Are you on the schedule for the furnace this afternoon? Didn't think there were any more appointments today. Hang on. Let me see here. Dale, ten stone blocks. Oh yes, that went very well. Melissa, three cooked pork chops. She rescheduled. Classic Mel. Uh, no appointment for me, thanks. I'm actually looking for the inn. 
Milo's place, right? It's back there. Right, Milo, thanks. No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it, you can stop writing now. Intense. Hey, Petra, what you looking at? Just admiring the sights, actually. This place is so cool. I'm not usually one for, like, checking out people's builds or whatever, but even I have to admit, this is really impressive. The founder isn't accepting visitors right now. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The Founder finally approved my petition. The Founder? Well, that's her palace up there. She is the Keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She's incredible. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a fan. She builds everything? Yeah, well, it sure is amazing. <laughs> That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. Your petition was very well handled. Oh, gosh. That's nice of you. Now, if you're just admiring the build, could you please step back a bit? We need to get back to it. Thanks very much. Hey, again. Yes? So, I'm curious, what kind of stuff do you guys do for fun around here? Oh, uh, all sorts of things. Make wish lists of resources. Practice low inventory builds. Some people do poetry. <laughs> it's a pretty great place to live. Fancy duds you're wearing, Reginald. Is that a uniform? I try not to brag about it, but I'm actually the captain of the guard. One of the reasons I'm allowed to supervise a build like this one. Well, Reginald, huh? Can I call you Reggie? No, I'd really rather you didn't. It's, uh, Reginald. Don't let me interrupt you guys. Good luck. Much obliged. Hi. Uh, hello. Wow, you are really focused, huh? I mean, yeah. It took me weeks to get this building permit, and I am not going to waste it. Hello there. I really can't talk anymore. I only have one chance at this, and I really, really don't want to screw it up. Hey, again? Yes? Don't let me interrupt you guys. Good luck. Much obliged. They just built their way right into town. No, I've never seen anything like uh, it. Hello. Oh, oh my. Hello again. Can we uh, do anything for you? You guys seem like you might have the scoop. What's up with the Eversource? Well, um, mm, well, it's, it's in the palace. Can you two point me in the direction of the inn? They must be looking for Milo. Shh! Uh, I mean, no, 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 we don't know any Milo. Really? Because it sure sounds like you know him. Uh, okay, okay. We know of him. If you really want to find him... He's the kind of messy-looking guy. Spender's always falling down. So messy. Thanks, I guess. Were you two talking about me just now? Um, no, no, uh, of course not. Uh-huh. Please don't hurt us. I'll just leave you guys alone then. Have a nice day. Please stop building. It scares me. What? Nothing. We could have almost died just then. Oh, hush.
Don't step on the grass, please. Okay. Sorry. I just take my job very seriously, because it is, in fact, serious business. Not many people get the honor of watching the tree, but... <laughs> I'm pretty good at my job. This guard must be special to get its own guard. What's the deal? The dirt here is precious. This garden feeds almost everybody in town. If even one block were to drop over the edge, whoo, catastrophe. Uh, please continue to not step on the grass. Thank you. Okay, Ivor? Better than okay! This city is magnificent! You should really take notes for that town of yours. How's it going? Huh. You know, still hungry, still waiting. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, folks. Uh, hello? I'll just leave you guys alone then. Have a nice day. Please stop building. It scares me. What? Nothing. We could have almost died just then. Uh, hush. How's it going, Lucas? I'm okay. Just watching these guards. They really mean business. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. All signs point to that being the innkeeper. Like that sign. Sorry, stranger. Can't come up here. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here, <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. Especially when people are doing boring things not worth staring at, like simply minding their own business next to a wall. I heard from someone in town that you could help me. Other people were talking about me? <laughs> they must have me mistaken with some other handsome innkeeper. <laughs> <clears throat> Out of curiosity, what is it that uh, they thought I could help you with? I'm sorry, but I'm actually quite busy. Inns don't keep themselves, you know. Lots of busy work. Some punks are trying to steal the Eversource. You know anything about it? Really? You come up to me interrogating me about some outlandish nonsense, and then you want to discuss someone stealing our city's most valuable treasure? I don't want any part of it. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this is our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet. Is he hiding them somewhere? Come on, you can trust me. Nothing bad is going to happen. Just help us. Fine. If it will make you leave me alone, that Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. 
Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Oh, this is not good. What are you... Oh, crap. People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, was that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene! Legal builders! Atrocious. Everyone, everyone, please. I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to that ever source at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. Am I getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! <gasps> Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! Come with me! Hey, don't treat him like that. We didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> the builders! Huh. Knew you'd see it my way. Okay, Jesse. Hey! Hands off the road. Guards, bring them forward. Jesse, I... I'll find a way to help you. I promise. Let go of me this instant! Excuse me! Excuse me! Come with me. We meet at last. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the founder, right? Nice to meet you, Jesse. My name's Jesse. So I gathered. Hmm. I admire your honesty in stepping forward. This should be... interesting. service to Sky City. I grant you these gifts. There, see? That my card she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Lucas is right. We need to figure out what Aiden is up to so we can stop him. That's what we need to stay focused on. I've got the feeling I already know what Aiden is up to. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. Carrots? Really? You gotta be kidding. We are honored, wonderful founder. Of course. Now go. I have criminals to deal with. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. Totally doomed. Blaze rods! This plan is crazy, Aiden. You're never gonna pull it off. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that, Jesse. And you're going to get what's coming to you. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. Come on, criminals. Time to see the Founder. Jesse, 
and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. This could still turn out okay. Are you kidding? She does not sound friendly. Founder, ma'am, you've gotta believe me, I'm not the bad guy here. Aiden's the one you should be worried about. Oh, really? Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. A terrible act of treason. Whoa, 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 you got it all wrong. The, the Blaze Rods are the thieves, not us. We're just here trying to get back the thing they stole from us. Really? Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Ah, I guess we'll just wait here then. Tell me what you see. I don't see anything. It's just empty. Precisely. As you can see, nothing exists below us. Only the void. Resources, every kind, are incredibly precious. And when something falls, it is gone forever. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Otherwise, we would collapse back into chaos. It is my duty to keep my people safe. And the only way I can do that is if our laws are obeyed. I guess that makes sense. How would you get anything new up here? I appreciate your trying to understand our world. <sighs> people act as though I want things to be this way. Allocating the limited resources. Risking my life every day. Wait, what do you mean by limited? I heard the Eversource could make unlimited precious materials. If only it were so simple. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. But you don't need to do it alone. We could help you. We could work together. <sighs> Being the leader of this city, it is a tiring burden. Uh, but no, this is my city. These are my people. And it is my responsibility. I think I've heard quite enough. Good. Now that you're back, we can talk properly. Reginald, I've made my decision. While I'm not convinced that you are here to steal the Eversource, the fact remains that you constructed a bridge of dirt without authorization. That is why you and your companions are to be detained <gasps> until I can discern the full truth of the matter. Reginald, please remove them. Yes, ma'am. What? Oh, come on. I wanted to help you. Don't do this. I'm afraid this is the way it has to be. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. Really fascinating stuff here. Hey, you already locked us up. Do you really need to confiscate our stuff, too? Well, it wouldn't be much of a jail if I let you keep your stuff. Oh, wow. What is this? That's mine? 
It's almost like dirt, but not. That's called sand. You've never seen sand before? Sand? Wow. What's it do? Are you kidding me? We are not going to explain sand to the guy locking us behind bars. I refuse. Well, whatever it does, it's going in the chest with everything else. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an unimportant man on the world's tiniest power trip. Hey, I don't have to take this. I'm in charge here. You're criminals. Aiden told everyone all about how horrible you are. He said that you burn down trees just for fun. That you steal all the world's treasures and hoard them for yourself. He also said that you tame wild animals just so you can make them chase innocent people. You can't believe a thing Aiden says. He's a liar. He said that you'd say that. Though I suppose that's probably what a liar would say. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go help the Blaze Rods beef up security. Can't believe I'm taking orders from that sniveling little... <clears throat> Stay here. Don't cause any trouble. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Reginald, you've got to listen to me. Aiden's tricked the Founder so that he can steal the Eversource for himself. There's not much time. They're personal guests of the Founder, and sure, maybe I don't like them, but I'm probably just being paranoid. Richie, think about it. They want you out of the way. They're upstairs, beefing up security with the Founder while well, you're what? Down here, locking up prisoners? You're right. Well, I'm down here. Who knows what they're telling her? Uh, okay. Let's say you make a good point. And I'm not saying you do. But hypothetically, why would I, Captain of the Guard, let you, a criminal, out of that cell? I'll never know how you looked at them and thought... There are some upstanding citizens. Reginald, because you know it's the right thing to do. Well, you do make a compelling argument. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's say I'm heading to the pantry Get you prisoners some bread. Do you, do you see where I'm going with this? How long would you say something like that would take you on average? Probably about as long as it would take someone to get from here into the throne room. Please just get out of here. Get to the throne room and stop the blaze rods. Ha! Ah, nice work! Now, on to the Eversource. I mean, I understand wanting to stop the blaze rods, but you can't still really want to steal the Eversource, can you? Honestly, I just don't want Aiden to get his hands on the Eversource. So long as we stop him, that's what's important. Sounds good to me. No way Aiden would do anything good if he had it. Throne room was back this way. Here we are, back in the throne room. Keep your voice down. We don't know if we're alone in here. I don't know. Looks deserted to me. Behind you! Ugh. Hey! Wait, stop! 
Milo, easy! That's Jesse and Lucas! Jesse! I can't believe we found you! I can't believe you punched me! Ah, yes. I feel absolutely terrible about that. Let me assure you. I... I thought it was pretty funny. Where were you? Yeah. We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but... I guess you guys have that covered. Hello again, Jesse. It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once more. I had hoped this would be the case. Hey, you're that weird innkeeper guy. Ha, <laughs> well... That is my day job. In actuality, I'm the leader of a group that wants the same thing you do. It's a rebellion. It is a long story. In short, my people want to free the Eversource from the Founder's clutches so that everyone may use it. If Aiden and his blaze rods steal the Eversource, we'll just be trading one tyrant for another. And I won't allow that. Yeah, he's gotta be stopped. If we work together, we can find it first. I do like the idea of beating Aiden. Milo, I'm happy to have you aboard. Welcome to the team. I'm very pleased to be involved. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. Yeah, there was a door here before with a minecart. Yeah, what happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! What would Olivia say right now? Probably something like, Jesse, it looks like it doesn't have any power. How's it looking? Still looking like it needs power. Don't worry, I'll find the answer. Okay. I believe in you. Habits of the Enderman by Soren? Wow, well, how'd that get here? The rest are just inventory registries and legal information. Boring. So big. The nothingness, I mean. There isn't like a potion or something that could help us, is there? That's not how potions work, Jesse. Although I should really look into that. Oh, uh, Jesse. Thank you, by the way, for getting arrested with me. No one has ever done anything like that for me before. Ah, well, you're welcome, I Now go away! All this opening up is making me grossly uncomfortable. Definitely regal, not bad. So do you have, like, any underground rebel-type secrets that could help us out here? Uh... I'm afraid not. Though I will certainly tell you, if I think of any. See anyone? Not yet, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. I'm glad you're okay, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, me too. Jesse, what are you doing? Ha, ah, sorry. If I had a lever, this would be the perfect spot for it.
This must be where the founder crafts things for the people. Hmm, I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Well, that is pretty special. sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. Huh. <gasps> A cobblestone generator. Amazing. Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone. Genius. Genius! Yeah, and it should be just the thing to make a lever with that stick I found. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah, didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. You and your friend Petra have been very inspiring to me and my people. With your help, we may finally liberate ourselves from the Founder's clutches. Here we come. Zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? Is. is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So the Eversource makes these spawn egg things. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah, I can't wait! Let's take a look around.
Incredible! You guys meet the Eversource. What? No way. Yes, the spawn eggs. It's so simple. So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. We'll throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people. With it, we'll finally be free of the founder. But that clucking thing is what we came for. Ivor, geez, Lucas is right. We can't just steal, uh, kidnap... Chicken nap? We can't just chicken nap the Eversource. It's the only way these people survive. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure. I knew it. I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah, uh, pain. Oh, she's too fast. Just give me a second to catch my breath. Well, hang on a second. Let's talk about this, okay? I'm not sure there's anything to talk about. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! Shut up, criminals. Are you kidding me? You'll just want it for yourself. And I'm supposed to believe the escaped convicts? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Reaper, look out! I've got Aiden! Save the found on you! Got me, Lucas? Got you! Thank you. Thank you. Lucas! Ah! I'll take it from here. for yours. Land! Impossible. That's impossible. Jesse? There! Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close! You're down here too? Lucas, you made it! Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Mm, got me pretty good. 
Lucas, I'm really sorry I didn't try to help you up there. I only had a few seconds. Everything was happening so fast. No, no, don't worry about it. Aiden was, uh... <laughs> stronger than I was expecting. It was good of you to try and save the Founder. Uh, speaking of whom... Is she okay? She's just sort of... staring. Uh, let me ask. Founder? Miss Founder? I, uh... hope she's not in shock or something. We made it! We're alive! This is huge! Yes. Yes, you are correct. This... this is huge. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. Well, land is gonna be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's gonna change everything. Yes. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What... what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> Seeing all this after you've been crammed on a tiny island, that... would be overwhelming for anybody. Miss Founder, ma'am, this is pretty big, so just take a minute, enjoy the sights, breathe it in. Yeah. Getting back up to Sky City might be a little exhausting. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. That's not a good sign. Aiden must be going crazy with those spawn eggs. Monsters everywhere, this is gonna be bad. I can't believe Aiden could be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden! Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. Of course, I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Issa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, huh, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? Jesse. Get ready to build something huge. Maybe the biggest thing of your life. What do you mean? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? What is it? Just... Wow, what are the odds? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh... I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. It got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up. Try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, and give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. 
Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Hey, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. I'll see you on the other side. Taking over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't see. Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up! Now you listen here! I'm the captain of the guard! Aiden, you've lost! I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the founder with you? I heard- <laughs> What the- Reginald! Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! You thought you could just kick me off the edge? Unfortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. Just 
die already! Should have left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about what's right, and that is why you're gonna lose. deserve that kind of mercy. No, 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 come on! You can't just leave me behind. If you leave me here, I'll die! Get moving, you're coming with us. Th 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 thank you, thank you, Jesse. <laughs> More than you deserve, frankly. There's land down there! 
everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? to you. just so different and scary but exciting just take it slow okay you guys have been isolated for so long you you don't want to get overwhelmed by all this real world uh, uh, oh freeze criminals you're not going anywhere i knew you'd stop him nice work now this is just speculation but i'm guessing they have some regrets Knew they wouldn't get away. <laughs> what goes around comes around, am I right, guys? Aiden. Oh, uh, hi, Jesse. I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to cause all that trouble. I can see where it all went wrong. I've, uh, got some regrets, to say the least. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Aiden. It didn't have to be that way. I was just so jealous, bitter. And you had all this cool stuff going on, and and I just wanted a piece. I wanted my time to shine too. I'd say you have a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Try and make a fresh start, okay, Aiden? Do something good for these guys. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Make myself a little house. Maybe I'll become a writer. I won't try to compete with you anymore. Attention! Attention! Huh? Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow, those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Hey, both of you, fighting isn't gonna solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? 
who are we supposed to listen to? Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Now you shouldn't worry so much. I've got our way home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Cause I could have sworn I said something. No! You didn't! I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we going to do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. Yes, that's a rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name! Huh, <laughs> what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well... There goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? I was just thinking I'm glad the Founder and Benedict have each other. Yeah, that is nice. Yes, yes. Very heartwarming. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here when we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs>